So we're really looking at the dominant T cells that see the patient's own cancer. And we've built pipelines that allow us to see what do those T cells recognize. So you could call these, if you, if, if you like, successful T cells. What do they see? And what we found was pretty unexpected because they don't see anything anybody's guessed to work on so far. But I think in a, a majority of cases, what we've found is that those T cells see multiple types of cancer. And simultaneously, they can see cancer cells by several different what we call antigens or internal proteins that only the cancer cells have and healthy cells don't have. So we knew that's the way killer T cells work before, but we always thought they only saw one of these internal antigens or proteins. And so we're uncovering how people clear cancer, whether that be naturally or under immunotherapy. And uh, the results aren't what we thought we would be finding. And uh, we, you know, it's, it's an exciting thing to sort of a bit of detective work, really. How did this patient clear this cancer? And then the idea then is to use that information to help other patients with that cancer. And quite often now, surprisingly, we're finding that those um, particular proteins within the cells um, are in other cancers. And one of the things that I really like here is quite often what we see are targeted in these patients are proteins that we cannot knock out in the cancer cell line. So the autologous patient cancer cell line, the, the, the protein, you can't take that away with using CRISPR because the cells stop growing. So these are things that I see as sort of hubs for the cancer cell uh, that they, they presumably need. So I view these potential targets as Achilles heels for cancer. And the exciting thing in that is that cancer does have Achilles heels. Some of us are lucky enough to target those things when we when we have cancer, the rest of us not. But what we'd like to do is actually, you know, load the dice, possibly in the long run through vaccination, so that people target the right the right antigens when they've got cancer. But at the moment, we don't really know what they are. We know some of them from, from what we've done. But what we'd like to do now is find out, you know, across a bigger cohort of patients, what is it they're targeting in their cancer, and then build up a pattern of what actually works. So what do successful T cells target? Until now, we haven't known. But now we've got the pipeline that enables us to look at that. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Andy. Again, congratulations on your work and uh, thank you for being part and parcel of the kidney cancer community and, and helping us at Kidney Can to disseminate the message and, uh, and develop better therapies for uh, kidney cancer patients. Thank you so much.